Hello everyone, my name is Master Sarman, and welcome to, uh, something very different, as you can probably no doubtly see here. Um, this is Mario's Picross on the Super Famicom here, which I am playing here through, like, the Super Nintendo Online service. This actually got added to that not too long ago. Actually, it's probably been a little while ago now, but, um... My point is of why I wanted to bring this game to your guys' attention is this that this game actually has a surprisingly fun multiplayer mode to it. And I did not understand Pick or not yeah, Picross puzzles until a friend of mine kind of showed me the ropes behind them. I can't read this text at all because I don't know Japanese, but it's alright. I don't think you really need to know Japanese too well to kind of understand this. And I figured, oddly enough, I figured this would be a fun game to play through for you guys today, so I guess go ahead and introduce yourself. Okay, sure, fine. Uh, my name is McKenzie, and I'm one of Zach's friends. Um, we've probably played stuff together before for you, your YouTube channel, hasn't we? Nuts and bolts. Yeah, like ever ago. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, we... Again, it's Pirates of the Caribbean thing. Every time, why is that your go-to? <laughs> why isn't why? it? <laughs> I can think of several reasons why. <laughs> I mean, you're right. I don't really... I haven't seen those movies in a long time, and I've probably only seen... I mean, seen... I probably have, because I have Disney+. Plus. So, Disney well, so do Plus, I. I just but... still haven't watched them in forever, though. And that's what I mean. I probably watched them more recently because I tend to use Disney Plus quite a bit. Though, so. Yeah, I, I use it a fair bit, but just not for that. Anyways, that's fair. Let's go ahead and get things started here a little bit. Um, I think the game starts us off with four levels, but well, actually, I guess we have to do them kind of all in order here. Um, let's go ahead and get things started here. So, remember, it's your A button for the. Uh, Normal punch out and B for the X's. Oh yeah, the yeah. Okay, gotcha. So I guess do you wanna kinda of quickly go over the like the rules and understanding of how Picross works? <laughs> if I can find a good way to explain it, yeah. So they're basically like pixel art, sort of, I guess, is probably the best way to describe them. Um the numbers on the side explain how many blocks or are supposed to be filled in a row so um the ones on the left are for the left to right rows and then the ones in the top are for the columns top to bottom um now it's kind of easier to tell on some of them what goes where now this version starts off by giving your row random not every pick off puzzle i've played does that some of them do i think um, some of them oh. But not all of them, for sure. I think some of them... Um... Okay. Yeah, there we go. I think there's... I can test it in the next one here. I think the option, whenever it starts off, uh, is for whether or not you want to have, like, the hint mode or not. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, there's a couple that I've played, because I've played a crap ton of my phone and stuff for casual stuff, because I'm bored. Mm -hmm. um, there's some of them where... It gives you the ability to like pay coins. Okay, yeah, that for them first, to fill that, in that, a row pressing that you. option there made it so that we don't use the hints there. I don't know if there's any real like penalty for not doing that though, so. No, I mean, I don't think so, but just the other version of it I've seen for like <laughs> iPhone apps is like you earn coins through doing the puzzles, and I think it's like mm -hmm. you have to pay 250 coins for them to solve a row for you. Yeah. And just how that works instead. Okay. So microtransactions, so it's a basically. <laughs> well, yeah, but the coins aren't... You don't... You can pay with them through microtransactions, but you don't have to, because you earn them by play. Mm hmm So, it's not as bad. Yeah. It's just, I know there's a couple that do them that way. Um... Yeah, the one you're in, I think. Yeah. Yeah. This entire first world of puzzles here, I believe these are all, like, 
Japanese five characters five? here, so... Oh, you mean, like, letters, yeah. Yeah, so... They start getting a little more shape-like, kind of, as the game goes on here. Yeah, that and these 5x5 five five puzzles are typically pretty simple, because there's usually at least one row with a 5, and that's, like, the easiest to fill in. Yeah. And, and, and as soon as we get four of them hard. done here... Now, see, like, this row of 10s here... Yeah, it's, like, fill in the whole thing. Yeah. And then this row of 9s here... Um, this is row of 8s here... If you do get one wrong, though, you lose time, and you actually lose a lot of time in this, like, even though it looks like we get a half hour to solve these puzzles, but, like, you make more than a few mistakes, you're oh, getting, yeah, like... Oh, yeah, off your thing. Yeah, you, lo you lose, like, minutes if you screw even just one thing up here. There we go. But yeah, I'm not really sure, I guess, kind of why I thought that this of all games was interesting, but I do kind of like the puzzle-solving aspect, and I actually really do like that there is a multiplayer to this game here. Yeah, I mean, this is what I do in my spare time when I'm bored, because this stuff is, like, easy to pick up once you understand it. It's pretty, yeah. Like, self-explanatory. It's just trying to explain it is the difficult part. <laughs> mm -hmm. And there was a game like this I used to play, too, um, on DS back in the day. I forget what it's called. Club House Games or Picross DS or something? Uh, I think it might have been Picross DS, probably. Probably, yeah. Um, because one of my younger cousins introduced me to that, so my brain has become, like, almost hardwired for these puzzles by default now. Was it via an R4? No. It's like they actually had a copy of the game. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which I think by copy would be an R4, but. <laughs> Do what you want, because a pirate is free. You are <laughs> a pirate. Oh, uh, what is the pirate theme you got going on today, man? Yar har shiver me tea. Being a pirate is all right to me. Do what you want, because a pirate is free. Uh... You are a pirate. <laughs> uh, I I'm going to remember that video for like the rest of existence, because it's one of the most like. That, 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 that clip from Lazy Town? Well, yes, but it's also one of the most obnoxiously catchy viral videos that became a thing. Like, Yeah, you're not wrong. I mean, that's Lazy Town in a like, nutshell. I remember, like, I remember it specifically for that and not because it's part of Lazy Town. I forget it's part of Lazy Town all the time. It's a piece of cake to bake a pretty cake. <laughs> if the way is hasty, you gotta do the cooking so I was by gonna the book. Say, there's another one. Um, we are number one. Yeah, I was gonna say they got memed to hell, but yeah, that See, one. it's- here's the funny thing- okay, first of all, this is actually kind of an easy one here because, like, the entire outside <laughs> is zeros here. Yeah. And there's a lot of eights, which are basically full lines here. Well, yeah, because the zeros cap off here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Like, right there, that already cleared out most of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure. Like, ones like that are so simple. I mean, this is literally just a square, or a circle, or something. Or an O, technically. Yeah. <laughs> this is funny, because I have the most mixed-up setup going on. <laughs> How so? I, it, well, okay, so, my headset for my PC doesn't work anymore. But I have my headset for my PS5. So I have that hooked up to my gaming PC for the voice call, and then I'm using my Switch. Okay, that was a lucky guess. So, like, the most mishmash.
Probably not the most mishmash I've done, but one of them anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and this is kind of different from how I would typically record... Like... How I would typically record most of my stuff anyway. I'm actually using kind of my stream setup just so that I can record the... Um, the audio call right now. I mean, whatever works, dude. Yeah. I mean, I just figured this would be, like, easier than going to your place, one, in the middle of, like, COVID, <laughs> and two, like, not having to bring, like, a recording set up here or something. I guess you could always have came here or something, too, but it's, you know what I mean? Also true. I mean, this works just as well, though, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. And I don't think this is a game where online latency is going to screw us up too much here or anything No, like that, if it was, so. like, something more intensive, it probably would. Especially because if a storm is outside, my Which, internet kind, it of, kind of is in and out all in the, the time. Of snowstorm all day. Well, that's what I mean, but, like, if it's, like, really, really bad storming, not, like, now it's not too bad, but yeah. if it's, like... Like it honestly, it honestly wasn't like it honestly yeah. wasn't a bad storm today, but the roads were bad enough to where I didn't want to be on the road. Yeah, see, here's a bajillion fucking tens here, so <laughs> yeah. like yeah, you can get that road there. it's funny because I've done enough of these it's also like somewhat math to my brain that makes because sense. I kind of know if however many blocks across makes 10 space wise yeah so like I automatically have come to know that like 6 and 3 make a row of 10 or that like 7 sense. and 2 like it's it makes sense but it's like one yeah. of those things where I've done enough of them where that's like ingrained into my head so I swap those and I immediately know I'm filling those rows type thing. That makes sense. See like I never I've never done puzzles like these before but I do, I've done like sudoku's a lot. Oh yeah. Um I actually think I used to get like I used to get like people com like my teachers and whatnot used to complain because I was doing sudoku's all the time in class. <laughs> yeah, no, today he used to complain because I would just read in class. Yeah. It wasn't that I wasn't paying attention, I was just like straight up reading a novel in class instead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, doing I'd have like a whole big ass Sudoku book with me in class. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, I've done Sudokus, but not for that reason. I mean, you know what happens when you're just that bored and whatnot, though? Oh, yeah, no, 100%. That's a weird look to a sail, but okay. Do what you want, because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. <laughs> Why did I know that was going to come up for the I mean... <laughs> Or better yet, if you ask your mother, she'll say, Ah, oh, it's not so bad. But when I left the house, I took everything she had. I took a silver and a golden pots and wind pans. I even took her aprons and a covered pots and pans. And now you know the ceiling is the reason I'm a pirate. <laughs> Second, <laughs> <laughs> tinder, look until you try it. Lundering and filtering, make up a healthy diet. Arr, look at me. I'm doing the booty boogie. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's only a select number of people that are going to get that reference, and I don't care. <laughs> I know you're not going to be in the crowd to get oh, that one. Oh, I can guarantee I'm not. Oh, man. That's so the thing with me, is it always- I confirmed. always come back to, like, making freaking references to that. You're probably about the only person <laughs> that I know of that does that anyway. Would be a better way to put it. Um, those two have to be. Uh, shoot. 
Yeah, the spot you're on there, or... Yeah, that was bottom yeah. too, yeah. Ping doo, ping doo, ping doo, <laughs> nap, nap, oh, yeah. nap, 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 nap. <laughs> I'm genuinely not joking. These nonogram puzzles, I literally have probably about eight different apps on my phone for them. <laughs> well, now you have another one on your Switch that's just in Japanese. Well, oh, this like, one's animated. Nice. I have, like, three of them that are, like, black and white, and then I have, like, two or three that are in colored. And, like, colored is almost borderline worse sometimes. <laughs> But, like, I've grown comfortable to understand how to do the colored ones, but mm -hmm. it, it, the only difference is for the colored ones, like, the numbers are different colors, and then you have to put that many blocks of a certain color. And it just gets more confusing because you have more than one option. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I had to read the rows there in my head for a second, but I didn't think we were missing that much. Something, something, Little Mermaid. <laughs> uh. Now, see, I can't make a very good reference to that right now, but... I mean, I could probably think of a couple, just not that quickly off the top of my head. And it'd probably, if it was, it'd be one of the songs. If anything. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's me with most Disney stuff. So, like, when I make references to stuff, it tends to be the songs and not the plot stuff. Exactly. Like, yeah. Something I know, like, in like I've watched, like, a bajillion times. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, like, I, I need to get back to playing Kingdom Hearts at some point as well. <laughs> Guess who still hasn't finished Rechain of Memory? Guess who still hasn't me. finished Kingdom Hearts 1 yet? <laughs> <laughs> okay, look. Still, Kingdom Hearts 1, in comparison to Chain of Memories ain't that bad it's just one stupid boss fight i've been stuck on and i've now made the mistake of there's no auto save to go back to it's nice so Mario here either have to beat it or continuously die try to beat it or restart the entire game when i'm over three quarters of the way through well you just got to keep trying trying and trying again that's the way action rpgs work that's the problem is i don't think i have cards high enough well oh. But I can't go back and get them because I don't have an auto save to go back to. Well then, um. <laughs> so that's my predicament I'm in due to my own stupidity. 